It's taken us months to gain access to this secretive Moscow lab, where these very scientists help create Russia's coronavirus vaccine. You assess the effectiveness yeah, yeah, of Sputnik sure, V in sure. this lab here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now CNN has been given a brief but exclusive glimpse inside the Gamaleya Institute and a chance to understand how this Russian government facility was able to produce what it says is a working COVID-19 vaccine ahead of the world's biggest pharmaceutical firms. Team is one of the secret. Yeah. Platform is another yeah. part. Scientists here insist it's their expertise, plus tried and tested technology used on vaccines for other diseases that gave them an edge. What else is it? A team, the technology, but what's the secret? What's the secret? I think, I think the secret is uh, uh, when uh, your team is uh, really involved in this process, concentration on this uh, process. I think in many pharma you have different projects you, you, you've involved, but here when you concentrate on this special uh, task, uh, when people are ready to stay here overnight, let's say. Everybody is just working on one thing. Yeah, yeah, and spotting one thing, yeah, the vaccine. spotting, spotting, exactly. Well, this is one of Russia's oldest, most accomplished vaccine research laboratories. But in the rush to create Sputnik V, critics say this Gamaleya Institute has abandoned normal scientific practice. As well as skipping large-scale human tests before approval, Russian soldiers were used as volunteers in early trials. And the Institute's director even injected himself and his staff with the experimental vaccine. Now, in a rare interview, the Gamaleya director is defending his methods. The world is at war with COVID-19, he told me, and we must use all available means to defend ourselves. But the fact that your vaccine has been registered for use before phase three clinical trials have ended, so before we know if it is safe or effective, you know, is in itself the cutting of a corner. Are you comfortable with that corner being cut? Maybe we should ask the relatives of those killed by COVID if they would prefer us to wait until phase three trials have finished, he said, or to vaccinate their loved ones with a vaccine that demonstrated brilliant early results. The answer, he says, is obvious. Here we have a couple of rooms uh, where we uh, purify proteins. He could be right, uh, so and the Russian vaccine created here at breakneck speed could prove safe and effective. But if it doesn't, reputations and lives could be ruined. Matthew Chance, CNN, at the Gamaleya Institute in Moscow.